Hello, Kimura Hashiv and you ish Misha Joseph uh, and show an Ampaslik and an Alaba. Uh, I'm here because I have a Gallic exam on Friday and these are the kind of things they're going to be asking me and I need to practice because there aren't so many Gallic speakers around. I guessed uh, these questions would also help you. Uh, I'll be practicing with other students tomorrow as well to get myself ready for Friday. But um, I think it would be good for us to go through these questions and also to try to answer them. So um, uh, we're just going to be focusing purely on speaking. So I'm not going to write anything down, but I will write a few notes maybe if we get stuck, just so you know. Right, so... I'm sure the examiner is going to begin with Kimura uh, how a Joseph and you. How are you, Joseph, today? So my response, of course. How many glaive Kimura how him? And then she's going to start asking me these questions. Now these ones we did the other day. Do you remember? Gentenum a hair, gentenum. A hore, gentenum her du vraher, gentenum a her du fewer, gena henemen a hora, and gena henemen a her to vik. Now, these two here are plural, okay, uh, and these ones we practiced the other day, so it should be quite easy. So we're going to use them, but She's not going to say Kimara how Joseph and then say uh, Jane Tenham a hair. She's going to have to ask me first, do you have a brother or a sister? And then she'll be asking me the names. And then she'll be asking me other things as well. So a good place to begin is actually here um, with these questions. Okay. <clears throat> so, are you ready? Let's begin. So, Kimara how a Joseph, Hami Gleva, Kimara how hein, Hami Gleva, good chuck, I'm good also. Then she might ask me, Kimara ha and teacher, Oh, hi, fur, an am paslich. Or I could say, she matin va a home. It's a good afternoon in itself. Um, I also could say, uh, hi fluch, it's wet. That would always be right. Remember, she's not testing my morality as to how honest it is. She's not going to Google Paisley uh, just to check if it is raining there. She's just going to believe me. And then she says, uh, in this next question, Kimara ha ambala. Hamia furachan am paslich. Paslich, ha paslich gleva. Ha es nok. It's nice. Now, I need to make sure that I directly answer her questions. If I go off and say I live in Paisley, she's going to think I didn't understand. Uh, so I'd have to quickly say, Hamia furachan am paslich. Uh, hi, snok, gleva, kimara ha and uh, teacher, I think is the correct pronunciation there. It just means the place. So if she says, where do you live? And I say, Paisley. She might say, kimara ha and teacher, what's the place like? How is it? That's what she's asking there. Okay. Uh, right. The next part uh, it's quite interesting. Okay, so Kachavelu a fulach a Yosef, Yosef in Gaelic, Joseph, of course, in English. Kachavelu a fulach. Hami a fulach anam paslich. Kachavelu anish anam paslich. Agentai at home. Uh, Kachavil Eli Ian Michael Afurok. Well, I haven't mentioned anyone by that name yet, so we'll 
come back to them. Catchaville uh, Air Fulach, again, talking about other people. Where does he live? Catchaville Air Fulach, where does she live? Uh, now, the next one, Kosahau, or Kosahau, as some people say, is actually um, where are you from? So it's not quite the same as Kachavil U Afulach. Okay, that's where do you live? Kosahau is actually saying, where are you from? So Hami Afulach Anam Paslich, Kosahau Hami A. Uh, Paisley. I'm from Paisley, and I live in Paisley. If I was from somewhere else, I might say, "Well, how many of you and I'm Paisley? Ach, but how many Aklmarnak? For example, you know, not a dreadful place, but anyway. Um, and then Koa Saha Eh, where's he from? Koa Saha E, where's she from? So those questions will be coming up in a minute. So, yeah, it might well start with something like this. Avil Chelach um, Akit. Do you have family at you? Do you have family? Avil Braher no Pure Akit. Do you have brothers and sisters at you? literally is what it's saying. Remember in Gaelic, we don't say, do you have? We say, are they at you? Uh, do you have sons or daughters? I always think these questions are a little bit binary by today's standards. A little bit conservative, aren't they? Um, let's see. Kachavel to Farantina Furach. Oh, she's going to have a field day with me. I mean, I'm old, um, and I don't know how to say my parents are dead, so I'm just going to lie if she asks me about that. Kachavil Ia Tefurach, where did they live? I don't think she will. I mean, she's very intuitive. She she kind of knows, I think, what to ask older people. Avil Maknonien Akto Vrahar. So the extra H in there, okay, changes this from Brahar to Vahar. Evrahar, so just keep that in mind. And she says here, you need to be able to link the questions from the first three boxes to these, as I might ask you your brother's name. Right, we're still going through them, so we'll come back to that in a minute. Come back to that in a minute. Um, uh, okay, so these are about work. So, Avil Opera Akit, Ha Hami Ak Opera Online, I work online. She hitcher Hannum hitcher na Wella, English teacher. Catchabil Ua Cooper Hamia Cooper Elinia. So the answer to the first one there. Uh, is there work at you? Do you work? The answer is, ha, I'm a copper. Catch a veil, who a copper? Where do you work? I'm a copper, er linea. I don't want to tell her too much all at once. I will open a. What is this? Doncha? Seamus. Okay, so, yes, yeah, talking about other people. I'm not sure how to say that name. Donchai, Donchi. Maybe. Um Kachavil eh uh, or he or she akoba. Where does he or she work? Right, so we have enough there to get us going. This bit underneath is just the bit we were doing yesterday, the questions. Okay, so we can come back to them another day. But let's just uh, try to see what she's going to ask us then um during this, because I need to put answers together quite quickly. The problem is it can take a little bit of time to construct answers. So, uh, let's see. Hello, Joseph. Kimara hau and you. Hami gleva. Kimara hau hein. Ah, hami gleva. And then, assuming she's going to ask about family straight away, avil 
celah akit. Havi posta, I guess, Hami uh, uh, own vrahar akum. Okay, and then she might say something like, "Am ah gentlemen a her to vrahar?" A she andra a her. Ah, gleva, gleva. Have you mac no? Nien ek to vrahar. We'll just check that here. Avil mak no nien ek to vrahar, or she could just say eke at him. Avil mak no nien ek eke. Ha on nien. On nien. Ha on nien eke. Now, you need to be careful. I always forget to put the verb in at the beginning because remember, Gallic sentences, um, they begin with the verb, many of them. So, ha, uh, on, let's say, on, vac, for example. Okay, on, vac. Uh, okay. Now I don't know if that's actually um, lenited. I'm sure it isn't. So I'm going to change that to her own Mac Ake. Ake. It has the I, so it's E Ake. Uh, so next she's going to say something like, "Oh, Jane Tenham, a horror." She's not going to say horror because that would be a woman. She's going to say, Jane Tenham Aher, what's his name? Uh, um, of the boy. Okay. So I could say, um, uh, She Paul Aher. Ah, Gleva Paul, the name on him. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so. Then the conversation is going to continue, probably still with family for a little bit. She's not going to let me away just be saying that, I suppose. Um, uh, so she might ask me a little bit more about my family. To Vrahar, catch a veil to Vrahar Anish. Catch a veil to Vrahar Afurach. So where is he now? Where is he living? Um, uh, catch a veil to uh, catch a to Anish. Uh, ha mi vrahar uh, a furach um, anan glasku. Now, as I was saying a minute ago, you need to be really careful because Gallic sentences begin with the verb. So, ha, mo vrahar, ha, mo vrahar. Oh, look at my spelling. Isn't that terrible? So it's actually like this. I'm not putting the accents in, okay? Ha, mo vrahar, um, uh, Furich and and Klaskew. Now this is the part that I keep forgetting the verb because in English we would just say oh Movrahar and then we would say is but in Gaelic the verb is actually at the beginning so the literal translation looks like is my brother living in Glasgow but actually, this sentence is saying, my brother is living in Glasgow. So this is the part that I always forget. That's the bit I need to remember. Really important. Okay. And she might ask me, uh, ah, 
Tuvrahar Ha Tuvrahar A furach an in Glasgow Ach Koa sa hae Where's he from And I can say um, Hae a paslich So he's, he's living in Glasgow But he works in Paisley Okay I thought keep her quiet. I'm not going to tell her anything about um, daughters because if I start saying there's a son and a daughter, she's going to start using numbers on me. <laughs> so let's see if I can think of a few others here. Okay, so we've we've done these already. Have you brahar no pure akit? Have you mak no nian akit? Catch a veil to Farentina Fulach. Hamo Farentina Fulach and Sassing. They live in England. A veil Mac no Nien actu Vraher. How on Mac? Eke. Right, I need to practice that more. I can sense it's not really fluent, but it's definitely better than it was. Better than it was. Okay. So we'll just quickly go back to the top here and try and do a random conversation using some of this stuff. Okay. Hello, Joseph. Kimrahau and you, Hami Gleva Tapolet. Kimrahau Hain. Hami Gleva Kuchuk also. A Joseph. Uh, have you uh, a furuch anish? Have you a furuch an am paslich? Ah, gleva paslich. Uh, ha paslich vor no bek. Bek no vor. Bek no more. Um, ha paslich. Beck pays his little. Ah, Gleva. I guess. Kuis ahahu. Oh, ahami apaslich. Ah, Gleva. Gleva. Ah, hami apaslich. Kuchuk. I'm from Paisley also. Gleva. I guess. Eh, Avil u. Ah. Uh, brothers and sisters. Now, uh, Vrahar no Nian, but uh, I think she might use the plural brothers or sisters, could be um, brethren or purin. Now, I'm getting confused a little bit as well with this extra H that goes in here. So I'll need to listen out for that to make sure that I answer her correctly. That's another thing, okay? Uh, so, uh, Avel Brahar no Piyur Akit. Ha, um, ha, um, Brahar Akum. Ah. Uh huh. Jin tenum a hair. A she andra a hair. Ah, gleva, gleva. Avel mac no nien, a dovrahar. Avel mac no nien, eke. Own, own mac, eke. Ah, Gleva. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And Jane Tenemahora? She Paul. A hair. So it's not a horror. That would be the girl, wouldn't it? Uh, it's Jane Tenemahera, is what she would ask. Her own Mac Eke. You can see I've written it there. Ah, Gleva, Joseph. Gleva. Uh, Avil Oper Akit, Joseph. Uh huh. Ah, uh, ha, 
uh, how many Akopa are in Linya? Ah, Katja Belu Akopa. So she's going to ask that next, isn't she? So if I say Avel Oper Akit, well, she'll say Avel Oper Akit. Uh, ha, Hami Akopa, and then wait for her to ask the next question. Don't give her too much info. Uh, Katja Belu Akopa uh, is the next one. Uh, Hami Akopa in Linya. Hami Hitcher. Ahanam. Avel Oper Ach Tivrahar. Ha, eh, ha Movrahar Ach Oper. And in garage and in Glasgow. He works in a garage in Glasgow. Now, again, that ha at the beginning, I'm kind of struggling with that. And that's the question again uh, where does your brother work? So I could say, for example, I'm of Rahar. Hi, Akopar. And then wait for her to ask the next bit. Catch a veil, Akopar. So we'll have to give her too much there. Um, there we are. So that's a little practice there for me, since I've no one else to practice with. But I think I'm coming on definitely better than when we started. The problem is it takes me some time to get my thoughts together. That's my problem. And even in the classes, when she's kind of like bouncing around and asking questions, um, I'm not always able to keep up with the worksheets. Um, so it takes me an extra minute. Uh, but I think I'm getting faster there. So I think that's, uh, that's good. The other thing, of course, she could ask... Uh, is about my own family. So, for example, um, uh, she might say, let's just check here again, uh, okay, so I could say, Hami uh, Posta, and she's going to say something like, ah, um, J antenum ahora to Ben. Or then, if you put the extra H in, I don't know if it should go in. Jane Tenamahora, uh, what's the name on her? To Ben. I think actually after two, it's, it's going to be to Ben, if I remember correctly. Um, and I'd need to answer something there. Okay, so I could just make it up. Uh, ah, she Maria uh, Ahora. Maria Ahora. So lots of things to practice there. Um, and she might even ask me if I have kids. Uh, so I'll need to prepare some answers for that. I mean, none of this is true, okay? It, I think it would be too complex to try to remember or give her my family details because it becomes too emotive. It's better just to be prepared to say anything, to say it correctly. She's not testing my morality here. Um, yeah, so there we are. That's today's answers. So I think that's it for now. Uh, good luck if you are doing an exam. Who knows? Maybe you're even doing the exam with me. I don't know, but it'd be interesting to see. Right, I'm off to upload this. Catch you soon. Uh, Martian Lech, Chidi Andrazda.